Before the writer in this office got lost, he found his way writing for shows like MTV's Undressed and Crossing Jordan. When he's not working on the final frontier, he can usually be found here in Burbank, California on the Walt Disney Studio lot. Nominated for six primetime Emmys, winner of two, he's an avid comic book fan and a pretty good poker player. The man in this office is Damon Lindelof. I'm Jeff Berman, and we've just entered the right environment. What makes a good writer? Um, wow. Uh, it's a hard question. I think it's an ability to, um, to translate a cool idea into something that you can communicate to others. So I think people have very cool ideas all the time and then it basically starts with being able to tell a story. Hey, something really cool happened to me last night, whether it was funny or uh, coincidental or um, what you know your ability to say this is interesting to me and now I'm gonna make it interesting to you um, and then obviously put it down on a piece of paper um, is probably the first and most important aspect of it but uh, you know I think there are a lot of good writers who aren't necessarily storytellers but are you know poets or you know whatever but as, as I am not a poet um, I can't really speak to that what's the difference between a storyteller and a script writer I don't think there is a difference I mean for me you know, fundamentally all I can speak to is, you know, what wh what I think a good writer is. And for me, I'm attracted to storytellers, you know, whether they're, they write books or they write scripts or they write songs or whatever. That's what I, but my brain is a very narratively driven brain. I, I it, it doesn't mean that I don't like sort of more, you know, esoteric, um, you know, filmmaking or storytelling, but I always sort of lock on to what is it about the story that makes it interesting? What is this thing about, you know? J.K. Rowling admitted that she had written the last chapter of the last Harry Potter book after the first book was written. Have you written the final episode of Lost yet? No. Um, that would be a huge mistake, I think. Um, first off, what's going to happen over the course of the next two years, both creatively and also things that are outside of the writer's control? I think we know what the last scene of the show is going to be and what the end game of the show is, but to actually sort of sit down and write it. Um, the thing about J.K. Rowling is she can write the last chapter of the Harry Potter book because those characters only exist on paper. You know, we have all these, um, w what if Matthew Fox quit the show? Mm -hmm. You know, what if Terry O'Quinn, um, you know, didn't want to, uh, you know, play Locke the way that we're that he's playing him anymore. What if we wanted to? Ch what if we wanted to kill off Kate? You right. know, for whatever reasons. Um, all of those things you have to leave certain options open. What happens with the characters is sort of up in the air. What happens in the mythology is what's sort of rooted down. 